हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अधेश अकेडमी फ्रेंड्स वन ऑफ द मेजर प्रॉब्लम विच मेनी ऑफ अस फेस इन अवर लाइफ इज दैट वी प्रोक्रास्टिनेट एवरीथिंग पोस्टपोन एवरीथिंग फॉर टुमारो वेन एवर समथिंग कम्स वी से विल डू इट टुमारो विल डू इट सम अदर डे दिस इज नॉट द राइट टाइम टू डू आई डोंट फील लाइक डूइंग इट एंड वी पोस्टपोन एंड पोस्टपोन एंड इट केप्ट गेटिंग पोस्टपोन there are many reasons for procrastination for example laziness just because you don't want to do anything you feeling lazy then sometime you lack confidence you feel whether my action will be right or wrong whether i will be successful or not so why to take action sometime you fear criticism you feel that if i take this if i do this action what will people say if i fail sometime we fear of taking the wrong decision so it is better not to take a decision at all sometime we fear of losing what we have by taking a decision so if you have some money and you want to invest you feel what if i lose everything so you avoid taking decision sometime you fear the pain and anticipate the pain and therefore you don't take decisions we have many excuses for not taking the decision and postponing it sometime we pretend to be very busy because we have so many things to do i cannot do it now we'll do it later sometime we are very stressed and feel that because we have so much of stress i can't add any stress on that so we avoid taking decisions sometime we feel it is too risky sometime we feel there is too much of uncertainty then sometime we feel that we don't have the requisite experience sometime we feel we are too old for this job sometime we feel we are too young for this job and these are the different excuses we give to postpone what we have to do we just postpone it after day after day and next day we always keep reminding us that one day when everything will be right we will take the decision but that day actually never comes that everything is right and you can take the decision and therefore there are many things which just are never done you want to write a book you say i will do it tomorrow maybe next week maybe next month and just it get keep getting postponed so there is a very famous quote by william james nothing is so fatiguing as the eternal hanging on an unfulfilled goal the meaning is that if we have a goal which we want to achieve and we are not able to achieve we are just postponing it so that itself is acting as a burden on us and it tires us so when you do that job complete that job you are free from that burden and you feel like flying you are very relieved you feel very light and if you don't do it there is a constant burden on you so today we are going to discuss 10 tips which can help you avoid the procrastination the first tip is that you should decide your goal sometime we are unable to take decisions because we either don't have a goal or we have too many goals so unless you decide your goal you cannot take decisions you cannot move forward so decide a goal second thing is that as soon as you decide a goal set a deadline you decide that i have to do it by tomorrow set a deadline or i will complete this by next week and then you will find that the urgency will come to you a sense of urgency will arise and you will start working third thing is you must visualize the future that means if you take the decision what will happen in the future for example you have to write a civil services for example you have to take a decision whether you should write a civil services or you continue with the job then you visualize that if you succeed what is going to happen 10 years 20 years hence or if you continue in the present job what is going to happen after 10 years 20 years hence and then you compare so when you visualize the future and see the benefits of taking the decision you get a motivation of taking decision the next important thing is that when you think about the long distance to be traveled you often feel tired and demotivated for example if you have to read a book of 1000 pages it looks very big but suppose you make a goal that i will read 50 pages in a day it becomes easy because it is possible to read 50 pages in a day rather than thinking about 1000 pages and so in 20 days you complete the book in the same way if you have to travel 1000 miles you can still do it if you just break it into a small small part and say okay every day i will travel 10 kilometers which is very much possible so in the same way when you break the big goals into a small small goals and set small small deadlines 
and all of which can be achieved within the time frame, then you get motivated to do the work. The fifth important rule is harness fear. See, it is my experience that whenever we want to do anything new, there is always a fear. There is always a fear because there is no certainty about what is going to happen. You make an investment, you try to write a competition, you try to get a job, anything. Even if you suppose want to marry somebody, there is a fear. That fear is bound to be there. Whether you marry or you don't marry, fear is going to be there. So what you do is that use that fear into your advantage. Think, if you don't marry, what will happen? Think. If you don't write an exam, what will happen? Think, if you don't travel, what will happen? So there is a fear on the other side also. And then you see that not taking a decision is going to be more harmful to you than taking a decision. And if you analyze the two, then it will make you do the things immediately. Sometimes we feel demotivated because we feel we may not succeed. In that case, follow the sixth rule that you remember the past successes. In our past, we have written many examinations, participated in many competitions and many competitions we have succeeded in our life. When we will remember them, our motivation will get high, our confidence will build up and we will be feeling motivated to do the thing. Seventh thing is that think about the glory, appreciation and respect which is going to come when you succeed in your life. It is one thing to fear the criticism but it is another thing to think about the appreciation. And by not doing the action, you may be protecting yourself from the criticism, but you are also foregoing the opportunity of appreciation and glory. So think about the glory, think about the achievement, how the world is going to appreciate your work, how the world is going to appreciate you. Any of us, if they are appreciated, it is because we have achieved something, we have taken risk in our life. If you don't take risk in our life, we can never achieve anything and people will never, you know, support us. So remember about the glory, think about the glory and the appreciation and that will take care of the fear of criticism and other things. The eighth important point is that you should set reward for every action. When you achieve something, reward yourself in some way. Maybe going for a movie, maybe spending some time with a friend, maybe going for, to a restaurant for dining out, some reward you can set up so that there is an internal motivation and there is a good feeling coming because you have completed one part of the journey. So motivate yourself by rewarding yourself internally and doing something which will make you happy. So reward yourself with every success. Ninth is that act courageously. See when you are in the battlefield of life, you have to be courageous. Don't run away because when you run away from the battlefield, people will call you coward. And it is not a very complimentary thing to be called coward. Be a bold man. Face the bullet, fight the battle of life and that is where the glory lies. And therefore you should develop a confidence and act accordingly. And finally my friend, the tenth rule is act now and take the first step. Whatever you have planned, for example if you want to write a book, write the first paragraph or first chapter today. If you want to start a new course, at least enroll yourself course, at least enroll yourself for the course immediately. In the same way take the first step here and now because when you take the first step, a part of the journey is already covered and the total journey distance has reduced and that will motivate you to move further. So I hope my friend that you have been able to understand how we can stop postponing or procrastinating and start acting now. If you follow the 10 tips which I have given in this lecture, I am sure that you can get rid of the habit of postponement and you can achieve great success in your life. Thank you very much for watching the video. Keep watching the video and keep sharing your views in the comment section. Thank you.